Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play, The Point of the War, with the Modern and Pro Mod. As friends with me, Crowds on 10. Last episode, we defended um, Schlerwen, Mecklenburg, from the British, and now I'll just end the turn, because I can. Oh, and the British. Hello there. Nice to meet you. That's going to be a problem. Oh, 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 oh. I thought they were going to see Berlin for a second there. I was a bit troubled. Just a bit. Slightly. Oh, are the, uh, oh. The, um, the Hessians. Hessen. Are they at war with the British? Interesting. Oh, no, the Ottomans. Oh, don't move south. Don't move towards Venice. Don't. If you do, it'll be the end of you. It'll be the end. Enemy raid, enemy raid, workers and strike, rose right. Recruitment. Okay, concentrate the army over there. Trade ships recruited. I'll finish production of that building. And the artillery. 15 turns, well. Anyway, technology. That's good, that's good. Uh, these two can go over here. Occupy that region. Let's build more of them. Move this marine unit over towards there. No, this way, this way, this way, this way, that way, that way, this way. This way, that way, yes. Oh, I can upgrade that, but I don't want to. So, are the Hessens. If I go to diplomacy. Go to the Hessens. Oh, they are what? The British. So they are moving to uh, intercept the British army over here. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you very, very much. Anyway, let's move on to the battle. Uh, to the battle. Uh, <laughs> to the war. Um, I think I might as well. Uh, that's the, uh, Napoleon's army is nearly replenished. See, what I'm thinking is, once I take out Dresden and Saxony, sorry, I, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent, uh, I'll take out Stettin, St Pomerania, and then I'll take out Silesia over here, this Silesia, this will leave, maybe even Danzig, then I will sweep all my armies from the north up here, down south, take out the Austrians, but not past Galatia, because I don't want to be bordered with the bloody to the Russians, and then I'll just take out the Ottomans, and then I'll leave some troops on the border here, on the border border, yeah, uh, cities, to uh, the, the Prussians and the Austrians, maybe even the Ottomans, um, probably not, because I'm going to use that as a massive flank, come around, move upwards, because my armies are already down south, why should I move them up north just to attack across, when I could just move across like this, and flank upwards towards St. Petersburg, yeah. I think, um, are the Dutch at war with me again? Oh, no, the Swedes are. So I have to take out the Swedes, but before taking out the Russians, I need to take out the British and Naples. So, um, that's my plan. Let's see how much money we're making per turn. Oh, more than, yeah, I expected to make. Luckily, you now in the point total war, you have unlimited population, basically. So, um, because I'm pretty sure if this was real life, Napoleon wouldn't have been able to, uh, I'll create my steams back on one second. Napoleon wouldn't have been able to attain, retain his troop composition, considering that he would have lost so many men, yeah. But basically, what I'm going to do, attack with the army from Napoleon. Well, he's, he's basically replenished. 
and then I'm going to attack this, uh, no, I'm going to go round over here and take out their capital with an order resolve. Hopefully this works. Okay, sh this is in my favor. Okay. I'm hoping I will not be defeated. And a victory, okay. Uh, that's good. That is very good. That knocks out one enemy. There goes their armies as well. We might as well upgrade their um, buildings. Uh, move this army over here. This army can move over here. And concentrate against the Prussians. Uh, I should actually probably send this army, this army, down south. But they, uh, they're not attacking from here, so what's the point? Oh, and I meant to upgrade that. Yeah, 12 turns. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to defeat the, the Prussians qu quite soon, though. Quite soon. Or oh, in quite a short amount of time. Considering that I have three armies over here, one army over here, and I'll just move this army over towards this province. Oh my gosh, they have a crap ton of cavalry. Why do I have two agents in here? Oh, great. Um... Let's move this agent over in here, infiltrate, he's detected, but I can still move him into the city. Let's move this agent down towards there. The Prussians seem to have a lot of cavalry there as well. What's with the cavalry? The Ten Hassan von, von, von Usendom regiments. Sorry if I moved closer and yeah, cavalry and just stuff. Anyway. Um, what else is there to do? Oh, you know what I can do? I could do! Upgrade the ships, and... I don't know. I feel in a pretty tight position... Uh, tight, or... Pretty secure position, considering that, um... Attacking, and I have most of my army up north, and I'll just do a massive swing. Might take war. No, I'm not going to take Warsaw. No, then I'll be born with the Russians, and the Russians will send hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes of armies against me. Okay, let's not engage them. I want to get the Essen troops to to attack them. Prussians are retreating. Looks like. Wailing under my ferocious attacks against them. Oh, move there. Uh, oh, they're supporting their other army. Now their army's moving towards Mecklenburg. Hmm. This is interesting. Are the Essens going to do anything? No, they didn't. They didn't move their army this turn. Thank you. Amazing, now I have to track down that other one. Uh, the Ottoman should be a piece of cake to do with, basically. Pieces of, cakes, pieces of cake are quite delicious as well, so... With their tax revenues. So, um, I'll be... Nice. Oh, uh, this unit can... Actually, I want to move this unit over towards... I don't know, Lithuania. Minsk, actually, that would be nice. Workers on strike, port blockaded, yeah, oh, I have a rebellion? Oh, crap, I only saw that screen for two seconds, and I'm a bit concerned. Uh, not here, it's probably in, um, is that the rebellion? Yeah, that's the rebellion, okay. So I now have, uh, oh gosh. These are some B armies, anyway. Complicated over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Construction. Oh, I got those uh, mines upgraded. Might as well upgrade them more. Brings in some quite considerable tax revenue. I think I'm not even taxing Berlin, am I? I am taxing Berlin. Let's not tax. Uh, yeah, this place. I don't know what it's called. Um. One push rebellion. Mm. Oh crap! And there's an army right there. Really? Um. First of all, though, let's deal with this army up 
signals. See, show them some French steel. I'll see you on the battle map. Welcome to the deployment screen. But the graphics are not really that good, actually. Yeah, what happened to the graphics? Whatever. Anyway, Napoleon's troops. Even though he's not Napoleon, it's General somebody. I don't know. Maybe we'll come up in his profile. No, it won't. Okay. Um, first of all, Lanciers, right flank. Grenadiers with these people at the front. With the skirmishes out front, front, front. Uh, and I have no idea what to do with the rest of them, so let's just line them up in some great big line and hurl them at the Prussians. Move the lances to the right hand side. Oh my gosh. Annihilated. Actually, not annihilated, just, uh, shocked. Really. Do, 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 do. Move these men forward. Move these men over there. Is this all the Prussians have? Is this all they have? Amazing. Anyway. Move the general forward. Oh, artillery is open. All these heavy cavalry. Move the last to the right. And the battle has commenced, basically. Let's get the channel. Do we leave any units behind, though? Uh, move these two units over to the flank. These two units can go over to the flank as well. And this one can stay in the middle of these two, two units. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! No, he's not. He stands firm. their flank. Oh, this must be the rebel Prussian army. Interesting. Because the uh, hats and the infantry units, basically. Lancers against light cavalry. I think it's going to go for a while for the light, the light cavalry. <laughs> Mass Lancia attack. Devastating. One one. Okay, let's get out of there. Damage has been dealt.
Move these two units forward. Well, this one. These two can move forward as well. Run over there, run over there, run over there. Run, 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 run. run. No, over there. Looks like the enemy general is confused or disorientated, doesn't know what he's doing. Charge the light. The, uh, the heavy cavalry gun with the lasers. Oh, militia. Not worth the bullets, but. Well, they will after they finish the battle by charging into the backs of the enemy. Right over there. What are you doing? Whatever then. Charge them! I think we've pretty much won. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be gone. How's the battle over here going? Not too well. Yeah, so let's get out of there. Run. Well, we uh, won pretty. Um, Decisively, I have to say. Where's the general? Run! Move the infantry forward. Follows the skirms. Move towards there. As well as these units. They performed bravely in this struggle between the uh, Prussians. Prussian rebellion, actually. I think that is. On, break, break, break before my men break. There we go. And I'll see you on the bad map, people. Campaign map, that is. Welcome to the casualty report. We uh, we lost 400. They lost a thousand. That's all needs to be said about that battle. Because we're going to finish off that army completely. Let's see if we um find this panel though. My order resolve. Okay. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. So uh, thank you for watching. Because I attend playing Napoleon Total War, the Monster Infantry, and his friends. Out.